Hello children, it's me again and it's time for another story. Today's story is called The Rainbow Fish and I'm sure lots of you know it already but it's a beautifully illustrated book and has a lovely message so that's why I've chosen it for you today. The author is a Marcus Pfister. A long way out in the deep blue sea there lived a fish, not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple, with sparkling silver scales among them. What a lovely way to start a book. Do you know what I really like about what the author's used in this first page? He's used lots of adjectives which make his writing sound really, really interesting. The description is brilliant. Listen, a long way out in the deep blue sea. They lived a fish, not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue, green and purple sparkling silver scales. Now that's particularly lovely because sparkling silver scales, the author has actually used something there called alliteration and because each of those words begins with the letter S, we call that alliteration. Listen again, sparkling silver scales. Makes his writing sound really good, doesn't it? The other fish were amazed at his beauty and they called him the rainbow fish. Come on, rainbow fish, they would call. Come and play with us. But rainbow fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer shimmer is when they catch the light. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow fish, he called, wait for me. Please, would you give me one of your shiny scales? They are so wonderful and you have so many. Here's the little fish asking the rainbow fish for one of his scales. You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me! Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset, he told all his friends what had happened. And from then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. And they turned away when he swam by. What good were the dazzling, shimmering scales with no one to admire them? And now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. Oh dear. Oh dear. He's very lonely now. Why is he this lonely? What has happened to make him feel this lonely, children? Have a think, please. One day, he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef, Beyond means past the coral reef to a deep cave. You will find the wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. Wise means clever. It's another word for clever. Wise. Oh, sorry, I didn't show you the picture. There's the rainbow fish talking to the starfish.
So the rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside and he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly two eyes caught him in their glare and the octopus emerged from the darkness. Emerged means to come out. He came out of the dark. two eyes. I have been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story and this is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will find out how to be happy. I can't, said the rainbow, the rainbow fish started to say. I, I can't, I can't give up my scales to all the other fish. But as he was talking, the octopus had already disappeared into a dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales? Beautiful shining scales? Never! How could I ever be happy without them? He's not very happy. The rainbow fish is not very happy right now, children. Not very happy at all. Suddenly, he felt the light touch of a fin, and the little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish thought. Hmm. Hmm. Only one very, very small shimmery scale, he thought. Well, maybe I wouldn't miss one. Maybe I could give one away to this little blue fish. What do you think he should do, children? What do you think the rainbow fish should do? Do you think that the rainbow fish should give a scale away. Sounds like quite a kind thing to do, doesn't it? And kindness gets us a long way. Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. The little blue, blue fish was so excited. He bubbled playfully as he tucked the shiny scale among his blue ones and a rather peculiar that means an odd a strange feeling came over the rainbow fish for a long time he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new scale glittering in the water the little blue fish whizzed that means went really quickly through the ocean with his scale flashing. So it didn't take long before the other fish saw it and they went and surrounded the rainbow fish. What do you think they all wanted? Why did all the other fish in the ocean go to the rainbow fish now after seeing that blue little blue fish with his one scale? What do you think they all wanted? Have a think. Yes, you're right. They all wanted one of the rainbow fish's scales. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right. And the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water around him filled with glimmering scales, he at last felt at home among the other fish. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shining scale left. His most prized possessions. That means all the, whatever, what prized possessions means, the thing you love the most in the world, his scales, he loved his scales the most in the world. They had been given away, yet he was still very happy. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come and play with us. Here I come, said the rainbow fish, and, ha and happy as a splash. He swam off to join his friends. He shared, he shared something that belonged to him 
with all of his friends and it made him feel happy. He was kind, he was a kind fish. That's the moral in this story, children, to be kind, to be kind to others and give them what you have as well. I hope you've enjoyed this story as much as I've enjoyed telling it to you. And I will see you again soon for another story time. Bye for now.